Right. We just saw Rogue One, and on this show, I take my friends, we go see a movie, we review it here in the car and have a discussion. This review video is spoiler free. If you're on the fence looking for a recommendation, you can watch this and find out what you thought, or find out what we thought without getting spoiled. And if you want to see the full discussion with all the spoilers, check out the other video, which is called Rogue One Movie Discussion with Spoilers. Uh, so this is the episode three and a half. It's the story of how uh, Leia ended up with the plans to the Death Star at the beginning of episode four, A New Hope. Um, which uh, arguably is not enough material for a movie, but this is the movie they made. And it's an intriguing concept, and it's, it's an interesting idea. Um, I'm going to let you guys go first, and I will come back to what I think about it after you guys go. So, what would you think, Aaron? I thought it started off really slow, but once it picked up the pace, it became a very enjoyable movie. It didn't feel like a Star Wars up until the very end. Um, and the acting was fine. Uh, it was good. I enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to watch this again to get a full appreciation which way or the other I feel about this entirely. Um, I, I feel like they really did a, a fantastic job capturing that the universe this time uh, around, uh, and, and the the humor was set up really well and, and, and kind of tongue in cheek uh, some of the times. And you, I think it's a lot of Gary Witt doing doing the voices on that. Uh, but this it leans hard into cliche. Uh, so much that that's almost a little distracting. Uh, oh, overall, I, you know what? I, everyone's going to see this, and everyone probably should. Okay. So I don't think I just don't recommend it. Hmm. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, but like I I struggled to get into it at times. It just felt kind of hollow. But uh, there's definitely lots and lots of action towards the end. It's kind of a slow burn kind of movie. But uh, I did enjoy it, but I got reservations. Okay. So my review is for super fans only. Um, if you are hardcore into Star Wars and you cannot wait until next year to see a Star Wars movie, a new Star Wars movie, um, go out and see this. This is a movie I would recommend taking the kids to, not because it's overly violent or because it's not for kids, um, but because I think kids will be bored for the majority of this movie. Um, and there's also some things that happen in the movie that will probably make kids kind of disappointed. Um, it's, it's not a badly made movie. It's not going to be the movie that people look at and say, wow, there's where Star Wars went off the rails. Um, it doesn't have the problems that the prequels have. But at the end of the day, it's a movie that just struggles to... It struggles to... Uh, it struggles to need to exist, and in my mm. mind, it doesn't really need to exist. I, 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 I don't feel like I know anything new. I don't feel like I'm enriched for having seen this movie. I feel like my knowledge of Star Wars and my, my appreciation for Star Wars has not changed in one direction or the other for seeing this. I feel like I saw an action movie kind of inspired by Star Wars, um, but because it's it's such a different kind of story, it's, it's and we'll get into spoilers about some of the reasons why, but um, none of this is to say it's a bad movie. If you're looking forward to it, don't let me talk you out of it. Um, just for my personal opinion, it you know, it, it didn't feel like a, a necessary thing for me to see. So that's my thoughts. Anyway, uh, if you like how we do these, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written and video reviews at thealmaxfield.com. And thanks for watching.